You know what uh, I worry about or ponder about with, with all of this is that the Fed has been trying to slow the economy with interest rate hikes for uh, quite a while now, and uh, the economy still seems to be chugging along. Now, inflation is coming down. Uh, so is the Fed engineering a soft landing? Is that kind of, is that a lesson that we could take from this? Or is the lesson that the Fed is going to have to do a lot more and uh, that that recession is maybe getting pushed back, but it's, it's going to crash over our shores at some point? Yeah, I think it's the latter. I mean, you know, the, the, the Fed is in a unique position right now because of what happened over basically the last decade. You have, um, you know, starting with the financial crisis, the Fed balance, the Fed balance sheet went from about a trillion or less than a trillion. It essentially doubled during the, the height of the financial crisis to two trillion. And then over the following period, it went to double again from two trillion to four trillion. And then, of course, it was about to come down and the pandemic hit and it doubled again <laughs> to over eight trillion. And so, in fact, I just checked the numbers uh, th this morning and the Fed balance sheet is still around $8.4 trillion. And so, you know, they're in a unique situation where they're trying to tighten monetary policy, which is by raising interest rates. Normally, they do that through open market processes where they would buy government securities to, to tighten up. I'm sorry, they wouldn't buy, they would, they, would, uh, they would be selling the securities. But if you look at the balance sheet, it hasn't really gone down at all. So, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting how much cross pressure there may be, you know, the, the desire of the Fed to, you know, keep interest rates high, bring inflation down, working with this unprecedented balance sheet, you know, it's not clear whether we have a new situation. And while, you know, interest rates are up at, at, at you know, the Fed funds rate is at five, um, you know, inflation is still at five. <laughs> and so, so, you know, and as I said, was, was saying earlier, the, Fed, the inflation appears to be moving sideways. So I don't think the Fed has quite got the genie, the inflation genie back in the bottle. And so while, you know, as our earlier guest was saying, the economy appears to be strong and the normal indicators, the yield curve, the things that might be indicating recession, they seem to be indicating recession, but the the, the labor market isn't, isn't uh, you know, ha hasn't gone along with that yet. And so you have all of these mixed signals which suggests that maybe the, sh the other shoe hasn't dropped, as they say, and the Fed is going to have to keep pushing interest rates up to get inflation under control. And at that point, what normally happens when the Fed keeps pushing interest rates up to control inflation, unemployment goes up and you get a recession. And I, I think that it may be delayed, but I don't think it's avoided. This delayed recession has interesting political uh, implications if it... <laughs> If it happens, because uh, it would come, you know, be, be pushed yeah, election, into the presidential election season, right? right yeah. which doesn't bode well for the incumbents normally. The political advice you usually get your recession out of the way. 